Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna do another range test video, but this time with the Model S Plaid. I'll be driving from Dubai to Abu Dhabi and then Abu Dhabi back to Dubai. But while I'm over there in Abu Dhabi, there's a new, you could call it electric vehicle charging station by Adnoc. Uh, that is made just for electric vehicles. So basically a petrol station filled with just electric charges for electric vehicles. So I'm curious to see how it is and I believe it's the first in the country to, uh, to make an electric vehicle charging stations. I think they have around 10 to 12. So I'm just gonna go there and figure out how it is. A few things to keep in mind. Um, I have the 19 inch rims which is the one that gives you the most range but I did remove the aero cap I just don't like the looks even though it's supposed to help with better efficiency get more range out of it but I'm just not a big fan I don't think it's gonna add that much of a difference between Dubai and Abu Dhabi oh, and another thing is I'll be having two passengers with me so that's gonna add a bit of weight but I don't think it's gonna be a big issue I think it's a bit more realistic for those who have family, kids, or friends that sit in the car with them for road trips and stuff like that. So you're gonna have a better real world test, I would say. All right, let's just go through a few things. I'm just gonna keep suspension on low. That's supposed to give you the best uh, range and better efficiency for long trips. I usually keep it on medium within the city because we have a lot of bumps here. So I'm just afraid of, afraid of the front lip getting hit and all that stuff. Uh, so let's see another thing. This is my tire pressure currently. It's recommended to have 42 on all four. Uh, for some reason it's showing 44 in the back left. I think because I just didn't drive it for a day. And once I start driving, it's just gonna recalibrate and be back to 42 psi um, yeah i think this is just the basic settings that i'm going to keep it on i won't keep it on plaid it's going to be chill steering comfort mode suspension is going to be on auto and battery is 57 percent currently So you can see on this trip from Dubai to the Adnoc EV hub, it took about, I mean, it, it was quite accurate. Uh, we reached with 35.3%, I guess that's 1.3% more than uh, what it predicted, which is also good. Um, let's see what consumed the most during this trip. So 21.6% driving the most because I was driving 140 all along the way climate was on 22 all the way elevation just a bit everything else is pretty much uh, your lights electronics and the in the car but yeah oh there was also a bit of uphill uh, so yeah what to do it is what it is so we made it here now in adnock ev hub you can see it's quite empty which is an amazing thing for a lot of electric vehicles out there. So let, let's count from beginning. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven chargers here. And according to the gentleman there working here, they are all 180 kilowatt charging speed, which is which is fantastic. Um, what we're gonna do now is. I think the plaid now is at 35%, 34%. I didn't do any preconditioning, so the battery is not at the optimal temperature to probably charge at 180 directly. It's going to take some time to, uh, you know, get the battery to the right temperature to 
hit that 180. So I think another good way is to precondition your battery right before you come here. There is a Tesla charging uh, network here at the city center over here in Mazar City. So you could just keep that in your GPS. So once you come here, the battery is at least close to the optimal temperature to get the 180 kilowatt. Uh, let's let's start the charging. Actually, we need to switch phones. My application is there. <laughs> so you can see over here in the monitor, there is a barcode over there. So what you're going to do is launch the Adnoc app, click EV charge, scan, and then there we go. Is it, should I come closer? Adnok, Afa? Afa Adnok? So let's see, let's start again. Start. I'm gonna keep the flash on. Oh, it worked with the flash. So keep in mind, if you have an issue with the QR code, keep the flash on. So, paper usage. We can do start charging. Now, plug in the charge. Holy shit, this is a thick cable, my god. This is literally heavy compared to the Tesla charger out there. All right, so let's plug it in. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe I've been exaggerating a bit, but so let's see. Charging in process. And um, let's see what's going to happen there. The fans are kicking in. It's about to take off. Ah, so you can see over here, since we didn't do any preconditioning, the battery is cold, so that's why you need to precondition so the battery is at an optimal temperature so that once you reach here, you don't waste time and energy for the battery to get hot, basically. Yeah, keep that in mind. So right now you can see 124 kilowatts. It's the same thing as it's drawing. I'm just curious to know how much it's going to cost me to charge up to 80%. So yeah. I guess according to the app 25 minutes so let's see what will happen all right from the looks of it we used 44.94 kilowatts it took us 25 minutes and instead of charge 79 percent even though the car application it's showing that we have 80 percent it cost me 56.62 or 44.94 kilowatts which is not bad but then I don't think a lot of Tesla owners are going to use it since the supercharger network from Tesla is currently free but nonetheless this is a fantastic uh, electric vehicle petrol station <laughs> if you want to call it that way but yeah it's a cool experience <laughs>